So our lesson for today children is a lesson in standard 4th and subject is English. Now the name of the lesson is lesson number 20 all about glass. Now when we do this lesson children when we will start looking at the pictures of the lesson when I will start telling you about the lesson you will start wondering whether it is a lesson in English or it is a lesson in science because there are many points in this lesson which will make you feel like you're learning a lesson in science. So that is the beauty of our textbooks, isn't it? When we are learning English, we learn so many things about science. When we learn science, we learn so many words in English. So here in this lesson, we will be learning a lot of English words which are related to glass. So we will also be learning the story of glass that is how is glass made and what are the properties of glass and what are the various colors in which glass can be made how can you use this glass that we have made and so on all right now when i say glass there are many things which come to our mind isn't it so let us look at the various things which are made up of glass and we see around our houses so this is a small round glass dish we have seen these kind of dishes in our house when your mummy makes a kheer or when your mummy makes some kind of a sweet she serves it to you in these glass dishes isn't it and then we have this all of us have seen this this is a container or a jar which is made up of glass mummy keeps salt sugar tea powder etc in these kind of jars all right now what is there here these are all glasses we have must have seen glasses of various shapes and sizes which are made using glass so when we learn about glass we are going to talk not only about how glass is made but we are also going to take a look at the various things which are made up of glass so come on let's go to our lesson for today and let us talk about glass so in the beginning we are going to see so many things which have been made with glass so this is light bulbs all right now recently we had the festival of uh, christmas in the month of december before that we had uh, diwali so whenever there are these kind of festivals you see lots of uh, tiny and big and different shape bulbs lighting up the houses of people okay all these are made up of glass you have glass bulbs sometimes nowadays you get bulbs which are made up of plastic also but originally we had bulbs which are made up of glass okay and then you must have seen your mummy your papa your grandparents wearing spectacles or specs so most of the time there are glass pieces on these specs so there is a frame which can be made up of plastic or something else and you have the glass in it through which people can look okay after that you must have seen window panes which are made up of glass why are window panes made up of glass because they let light inside your house isn't it you have a frame of the window see which is made up of wood here but the panes are made up of glass and finally when you go out to play sometimes you play with these beautiful colorful marbles all these marbles are also made up of glass you can see here so many different colorful marbles on the screen for you so see we make use of so many things daily and many of these things are made up of glass isn't it so this is what we're going to learn about glass today now children let us talk about how glass is made okay now how is glass made there are certain things which are natural materials for example you have wood you have wool you have cotton you have leaves you have feather stone gold silver okay there are so many things which are natural natural means me and you do not make them they are made by nature they are made by god but there are some things which are man-made for example look at all these things here 
there is a plastic some kind of cloth which is man made okay books are man made so of all these man made things you can see one thing there in the picture in the corner below the pen so what are those those are two glasses so when you look at man made things or man made materials we can say that glass is also man made okay so it is not natural you cannot find glass lying around like you find the leaves or the stones when you go out and look on the road you will see stones lying when you look up you will see a trees with lots of leaves and fruits and wood but you will not see glass lying around like that glass has to be made by us so glass is a man made material so now how is this glass made children see there are two things in this picture there is a beach or a seashore on which you can see sand okay when you go to the sea when you go to the seashore when you go to play on a beach there we find this fine particle which is not like mud which doesn't have uh, the color of mud sometimes and it is like mud also and we call it as sand all right and you can also see the glass bottle lying on it so what is the connection between the sand and this glass bottle look at sand it has got a color look at the glass bottle it looking so different but children glass is made from sand so it is with this sand that people make glass so now you can understand that it must not be an easy process and it cannot be made by everyone at home then how do you make glass from sand let us see now so glass is made by heating a mixture of sand and chemicals so you can see sand here sand which is flowing from the top jar to the jar at the bottom so this is sand sand is free flowing okay you can find sand on the beaches like i told you so when you go to any beach just pick up sand in your hand and try to hold it very tight it will not stay in your hand it will start slipping away from your hand so glass is made by heating the sand and various types of chemicals together so how is it done let us see the process in which glass is converted sorry sand is converted to glass so you can see how sand looks here and see how glass looks here all right now in the process sand here is mixed with various chemicals so see here chemicals like sodium carbonate chemicals like calcium carbonate now you will learn about all these chemicals when you go to a higher class so here let us remember that sand is mixed with certain chemicals and then it is heated after it is mixed with the chemicals it is heated how is it heated it is heated in a big jar okay in a very big vessel which is called as a furnace and after it is heated and heated for a long time you will see that glass is produced all right so this is the way in which glass is produced from sand so sand along with other chemicals are heated a lot it is given a lot of heat it is made very hot and thus sand uh, turns slowly and slowly and slowly into glass see and it starts looking like this can you see how the sand becomes after it is mixed with the chemicals when the sand which you saw on the beach and the sand here it is so different isn't it so it is a reaction or the action of all the chemicals on this sand and then sand becomes like this and then what do they do they give it various shapes so see how the sand is becoming a bottle here sand has become glass and now it is getting into the shape of a bottle so this is how sand is 
changed into glass now this is just in short children when you learn a lesson in science in the higher classes about sand about glass you will learn in detail about the procedure okay see how they are shaping that wet or melted glass into these beautiful shapes they are poured into molds you know what are molds molds means shapes you must have seen during ganpati festival your mummy makes modak what does she do she makes use of a mold or you call it as a sacha in order to make the modaks in the same way see the, how they are pouring the hot molten or melted uh, sand which has become glass now and then they are making it into various articles like you have a beautiful flowers over here they made it out of sand all right so isn't it interesting children so you saw how sand which is brown in color and which is powdery okay how it is converted into beautiful glass now children we make all these things out of glass in the same manner so sand is first heated and then it is uh, poured it melts it is poured into various molds to make all these articles okay so that is how glass is made now we make so many different things out of glass once glass is made it is not only really made into bottles it is not only really made into jars but like we discussed we make bulbs we make window panes and you make the a uh, front side of your car you call it the windshield the glass of your car right and then you make it um, make use of it in order to make various things in the laboratory like for example we have those all those small small test tubes those beakers okay the various type of glasses cubes so all these things are made out of glass so once sand is melted and glass is made then it is shaped and all these things are made okay now let us look at certain properties of a glass properties means certain qualities of a glass so glass is brittle brittle means something which breaks very easily all right so let us see whether glass can break yes glass can break all right see this is a bulb in case you happen to drop a bulb to the ground what will happen the bulb will get smashed up all right and imagine if you hit a glass like this even that will break and children the sound of a breaking glass is also quite interesting so do you want to listen to the sound of breaking glass here it is yes so that was a sound of breaking glass now we come to the next property or next quality of glass glass is transparent transparent means what see look there is a glass over here and there is pieces of a uh, lemon in it and you using a red color straw and you stirring the lemon juice now i am looking from outside isn't it we are all looking from outside the glass but can you see the pieces of lemon moving around inside the glass yes can you see the straw moving around inside the glass of course we can see it why can you see it because this particular tumbler or this particular uh, object is made up of glass now imagine if it was made up of steel will you be able to see it like this you will have to look from the top isn't it to see that the lemon is moving inside it if you look at it from the front like we are doing now you will not be able to see anything which is happening inside the glass okay so glass is transparent transparent means it allows light to pass through it and because light passes through it 
we can also see it okay so this is the next property of glass glass is transparent in the previous image what did we see we saw that glass was brittle we also heard the sound of glass breaking isn't it come on let us look at it once again there glass was breaking isn't it and glass is transparent there is one more quality of glass children it stores anything very well that is you can keep anything inside glass jars or glass bottles anything in the sense look at the first picture this is a jar of pickles now you know pickles have got a strong taste it has got a strong smell there are lots of spices in it there is a lot of oil in it now imagine if you keep a pickle in a plastic jar what will happen to it the plastic jar sometimes gets a smell and the pickle also gets the smell of the plastic jar if you keep it in a steel vessel or in an aluminium vessel the vessel will get spoiled because of the pickle but in case of glass it is not so you can keep anything you can store anything inside glass but of course you have to be careful okay if you drop a plastic jar of pickle nothing might happen but if you drop a glass jar of pickle the glass jar will break into a thousand pieces like we saw because glass is brittle so you have to be a little careful when you handle glass all right see they have stored different kind of dal they have stored different kind of lentils in glass bottles you can see also if it is a steel bottle you have to open every one of them and check what is there inside but here since this is transparent see you can see from outside what is there inside the container okay so these are some properties of glass can we look at some more things now see here there is oil in a glass container in a glass jug there is tea in a glass jar so you can store anything in glass safely without causing any damage either to the glass or to the thing which is stored inside the glass so you can safely store a number of things in glass now children in the older times most of the people used to use glass jars glass vessels for storing but now in the modern times we have shifted to plastic we make use of plastic more than we make use of glass but as they say plastic has got a lot of bad effects on our health okay so you should try and use glass as far as possible now there is we say that glass is brittle that means glass can break easily but remember children there are some kind of glass which is very very strong okay it is very thick and it is very strong so look here there are glass sheets you can see they are so thick that see a man is standing on that can you see a man standing on top of the glass ceiling so he is not worried at all that the glass will break because even though glass is brittle glass can be quite strong also sometimes when you make thick glass then the glass can be very very strong also there are some places where people make floors out of glass floors means the farshi that we walk upon that is made up of glass all right so glass can be very very strong also so this is also a property of glass one more property of glass is glass can be cleaned very easily so see here she is cleaning the glass so easily and without too many efforts is she having to scrub it very hard no she is just wiping it and see how clean the glass has become so glass is something which cleans also very very easily very very quickly without too many efforts okay so this is one more property of glass now there are some kinds of glass which are ordinary glass see this is ordinary glass does it have any color to it no it is transparent and it is ordinary glass now we also have colored glass 
So have you seen colored glass? You must have seen colored glass in the kaleidoscope that you see. There is a kind of a thing which you can place on your eye and you keep turning it, you will see the pieces of glasses turning inside the kaleidoscope. Okay? You all must have also seen your mummy, your didi wearing colorful glass bangles. So glass can be of various colors also. See here, so many different kind of glass. Okay? See? This is called a stained glass. This is also very, very colorful. You must have seen it in places like palaces or churches where different colored glass is used. So when they mix different chemicals to the glass, different colors are formed. Okay, So when the sand is heated, there are certain extra chemicals which are added to it in order to give color to the glass. So this is called as stained glass, Okay, colored glass. See, now there is one very important property of glass that glass can be recycled. Recycled means it can be used again and again and again. So you have these dabba uh, watli wala people who come outside and they collect all the plastic and the bottles and everything and they take it. Why do they take it? Because it can be recycled. So old glass can be changed to make new glass so glass can be recycled it is never wasted okay so how do they recycle glass see here at the supermarket you buy a bottle of jam and after you finish eating the jam you throw it away you throw the bottle away or you put it in your dustbin from there the truck collects it and it is taken to a place where it is broken into little little pieces these little pieces are heated again and so it melts again it is poured into various molds to make a new jam jar okay so carefully look at the pictures starting from here see the supermarket where the jam is sold and the jam comes to your hand you finish eating the jam you throw it away it is carried away by the trucks it is broken into bits and pieces it is burnt or it is heated again and the new jar is formed. So this is how glass can be recycled too. So children, didn't we learn a lot of interesting facts about glass today? We learned so many new things about glass today, isn't it? Now we also have some exercises which are there in the textbook. So let us look at them also before we move on to wind up the lesson. So the first exercise from your textbook is you are supposed to find the following lists from the passage and then you are supposed to copy them. Now when will you be able to find out the list of words when you read the passage properly. <coughs> so the first thing I would suggest is keep your textbook open and read the passage once, twice, thrice till you get to know what is written there and then come back and try to solve the first question so in the passage what are the names of the everyday things which are made up of glass so now I will not give you all the answers here I will give you some and leave you to find the others so let me look at let me give you the names of some articles or some things which are made up of glass according to the passage so we have light bulbs which are made up of glass okay see have you seen these kind of light bulbs nowadays we have led bulbs also then you have bottles which are made up of glass these are still commonly in use when you buy jams when you buy sauces you have these kind of bottles which are made up of glass then you have jars which are made up of glass when you buy coffee powder tea powder you get it in these kind of jars which are made up of glass now there are a few more everyday things which are made up of glass and they are mentioned in the textbook like i told you this is all part of your assignment now so go back read the passage and try to find the names of other things which are made up of glass you can also look at uh, the internet you can open google and you can go find out the names of 
some other unusual things also which are made up of glass ok so this was exercise 1 let us look at the next part of exercise 1 what can you do with hot liquid glass so according to the passage we heat the sand with various kind of chemicals and then the sand becomes hot and it becomes liquid glass so what are the different things that you can do with this liquid glass so what all can we do we can pour the hot liquid glass into a mold what is a mold i already told you i told you the example of the modak which your mummy makes okay so see this is a fish shape glass glass uh, fish which is made up of glass all right so what they must have done they must have taken the hot glass liquid glass and they must have poured it into the mold which is shaped like a fish so you have a glass fish all right what else can you do with hot liquid glass we can also roll hot liquid glass into sheets you have sheets of glass see the window pane is made up of a sheet of glass all right so how do you get the sheet of glass you roll out the hot liquid glass like your mummy rolls out chapatis in the same way you roll out this hot liquid glass and you get sheets of glass now there is there are some more things that you can do with hot liquid glass so please check and read the passage in the textbook and try to find out what else you can do with hot liquid glass let's move on to the next exercise here so we are supposed to guess the meanings of some words from the passage there are around five or six words so as usual what i will do is i will give you the answers for a few of them and the others i will leave it to you so the first one let's see molten now we have used this word again and again in this passage molten molten we have said so what is molten children molten means liquefied by heat so anything which is solid okay and when you heat it it becomes liquid that liquid thing is called as molten so anything which is made liquid because of the heat which is given to it is called as molten let us look at the next word here so you have transparent we already discussed what the meaning of transparent is but even then let us look at what the meaning of transparent is here so that which allows light to pass so any material which allows light to pass through it is called as transparent so look at this boy there he's standing with a glass sheet in his hand okay he is trying to cover his face using the glass sheet but he is unsuccessful we can still see his face isn't it why can we see it because the sheet which is there in his hand is made up of glass and so we can see through that sheet because glass allows light to pass through it so just like we saw the glass tumbler in which there was water and there were pieces of lemon and we were stirring it up we could see the lemon and we could see the straw going round and round inside the glass why because the container or the tumbler was made up of glass so these are the meaning of uh, two words which i have discussed for you we have some more words now in this particular exercise so come on let's take a look at the other words in this exercise and i will leave it to you to find out the meaning of the other words so how will you find out the meaning of the other words children very simple pick up a dictionary and try to find out the meaning of these words from the dictionary see impermeable impart recyclable so let us try to see whether you are able to find out the meaning of these words from the dictionary now children if you want to learn english the dictionary will be your best friend because it will teach you a lot of words the meaning of words 
how to use the words and whether the word is a noun whether the word is a verb whether it is an adjective so the dictionary will teach you so many things how to say the words so for learning english who's your best friend it is the dictionary all right so now we have the word recyclable over here and we saw that glass can be recycled that is once you use glass you throw it away again it can be made into some other article okay so there is one more thing which is can be recycled paper is also recycled so in your textbook you have the last uh, exercise which asks you to find out how paper is recycled so i have already shown you how glass is recycled so you can watch videos about how glass is recycled on the internet on youtube here come on let me quickly discuss with you how paper is recycled you can also watch videos about how paper is recycled again on the youtube so see here first paper is made okay let us start from here first paper is made then it is sold in the market then it is consumed consumed means we do not eat paper of course we use it all right so uh, newspapers every day the newspaper comes to your house you 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 read the newspaper and the next day it becomes waste okay so you collect the newspaper and you sell it to the raddi wala so then you consume it you use it so you collect it i told you now what do you do you, under your table you arrange the newspaper into a neat a stack so you collect the newspaper and then you give it to the raddi wala and from there what he does raddi wala also collects all the newspapers and sells it off for recycling there it is carried to a big factory or to a big uh, company where it is uh, recycled again it is pulped pulped means it is mixed with water and it is made into a pulp it is made into a mixture which is cleaned which is uh, refined and again paper is made so see we have completed a full circle we started here then we went to selling consuming collection transportation pulping cleaning and paper making so this process can keep on continuing this is what it is called as recyclable okay so children now we talked about paper being recycled and our lesson was about all about glass so we talked about how glass is made what is the objects which are used for making glass we saw what kind of different glasses are there to for us to use there is colored glass and how glass is uh, given various uh, shapes how it is made into different kind of objects we also saw the meaning of certain new words children so this was lesson number 20 from your textbook all about glass